We moved here in 1996, so it was me, my mom, and my sister, and a nephew. So I was 16 years old when we got here. So pretty quick, got myself in a lot of trouble because it's, it's me, this is what I wanna do. Nobody can stop me. My dad was still in Ukraine, so I was told that I will be deported. I was told that this is it, and that hit me pretty hard. So one night we got our friends over, they were spending the night at their house, and we were late to our church, and they said, well, let's go to this church, it's called One. Um, let's go there today. I mean, we're late for other church anyway. I was really against it. I didn't want to go, but I thought like, well, let's let's do it for the kids. Let's go there. And this whole story leads to this Sunday. So we got in, the kids went on their own. And it was a lot of videos. Just the regular guys telling their story. For me, seeing them telling their story, that was huge. You can read the book, but when you see the people on the stage telling their story in front of a lot of people, you can see their lives been changed. To me, that was the second chance, and that's what that service was all about. So at the end of the service, I raised my hand and it was a huge, huge relief. I felt welcome. I felt that I was my church. Um, we're not perfect, but I'm not there where I was before. And the God is real. And if anybody who's out there listening, I'm here to tell you that it is if it changed my, my life, it could change your life as well. I'm the one.